sure you guys would love to blow out every team, right. but is there a part of you that's like, can we finally be tested? Can we finally have a game in the fourth quarter? It's right. you know, exciting, it's nerve-wracking. Is that, where are you in terms of that? Is that I'm, I'm excited, I mean, I've been looking for, I mean, we've had this game marked since, I guess, the end of last season. Yeah. So uh, okay. we knew this was gonna be a test where we were excited for it. Um, I mean, it's always fun to be able to go against the number one defense in the country. I mean, you don't you don't get that opportunity very often. And so uh, yeah, I'm excited for the opportunity. And how confident are you that because of your training, because of all things you've done to prepare yourself, that when it gets to crunch time <clears> in the fourth quarter, it gets this week or whenever, that you will be ready, you won't crack, that you're going to come through? Uh, I'm completely confident. I mean, with the lessons Coach Mick and uh, Coach Day, Coach Meyer, I mean, all the lessons we've learned around here, uh, love, love your brother. I mean, when it really comes down to it, it's you look to your left and your right, and you do it for them. I mean, I couldn't, I look to Wyatt, I can't let Wyatt down. I can't let Josh down. I can't let Jonah down. I can't let Thayer down. So uh, they they really are the ones who, uh, who drive me through it and give me that confidence. Right now, on paper, you guys are going against, they say, the number <coughs> one defense in the country. Fewest passing yards, fewest rushing yards. That's rare that a team is number one in both those disciplines. Just and yet, <clears throat> they've only played one offense in the top 75. Just when you've looked at the tape, do you guys see they don't have no one they've played has dynamic playmakers like they have, like we have. No one has an offensive line like we have. Just what do you see when you look at what they've done? I mean, they look like a great defense. Uh, I mean, just watching the Illinois game, Illinois has a great offensive line, in my opinion. Uh, they have two really good backs, a couple mm -hmm. wide receivers. And uh, to see them, I guess, play them as hard as they did and everything like that, it's uh, you can, it gives you a level of respect to the defense because uh, you can you can see why they are number one in all these things. You know, their discipline, their uh, they're energetic, they're all these things that you want a number one defense to be. So uh, I have a lot of respect for them. How what is critical? It about, what is ahead. it about Wisconsin that makes them stand out? That had you start to know on the calendar even before the season started? Uh, I mean, it's always a war with Wisconsin. I mean, you, I, the, uh, I guess the biggest memory I, I can think of with Wisconsin was uh, in my career here, at least, was uh, in 2016 when we went to Camp Randall and it was, I mean, double overtime and that game was a war. So uh, we knew coming into that that, that was going to be a war, and so uh, we were looking forward to it. Brandon, I think that obviously the mobility of Justin can be an advantage. Are there any challenges for linemen when you might not know where he's going? How does that work for you guys? Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a challenge because, uh, you know, he is so dynamic and he can run so well that when he gets outside of the pocket or even moves off his off his point a little bit, it's kind of like uh, it's a little weird for us because we don't we, we expect him to be in that one spot. But um, I mean, he does a great job with his feet. Um, he knows that as soon as he moves off that one point that he's on his own because we, we have no idea where he's going to be at. But uh, so, but he does he does a great job of, uh, I guess, escaping everything. This might sound stupid, like, you know, wide receivers have scramble rules. Right. Are there those for linemen? Oh, just go find some. Just go find to, some. To, to, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the deck, I guess. you say your season is gone? I mean, it's, you, you worked really hard to get back here. Right. You had to deal with the back spasm thing like a couple weeks ago. How's, how's it gone for you? Uh, it's been all right. I mean, I had the one hiccup with the uh, the Nebraska game, but um, I mean, I think I still have a lot to improve on. I don't think I've played anywhere near where I know I can and where I where I've played before. So uh, it's just really repping in practice and uh, staying healthy is my biggest thing. Brandon, this might be a tough question for you because I know you're not catching passes, but what's Justin Fields' best throw? Oh man. Uh, I mean, I've seen some crazy deep balls that he's been able to throw with on the run too. I guess that's the biggest thing is he's so dynamic for the way he can take off, get out of the pocket, but yet still throw like uh, almost like Pat Mahomes esque. So yeah. yeah. I asked him and he said all of these. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 What surprise were you the Illinois defense passing last week, and what did you learn from the games? Uh, I was surprised. I mean, uh, well, I guess yeah, I was, I was definitely surprised. Um, I mean, it just teaches you that you have to go into every game uh, with the same discipline and the same mindset that uh, everyone's going to give it your best or give you their best shot. So, um, you know, I mean, us and Wisconsin and, you know, the bigger names in the Big Ten, uh, all the other schools are going to come for your head. They're all going to, uh, you know, they're all going to want a piece of what you got. Brandon, um, this is going to sound like nitpicking. I don't mean it to, but you're, the rate at which the quarterback is being pressured for you guys is like 80th in the country. It's kind of, it's kind right. of high, but I know some of that comes with what you were talking about earlier. Justin scrambling. It's not right. always just a pass protection breakdown. 
So when you guys look at film and, and you know that that number might be a little high, like what's the conversation like about how you guys are protecting that quarterback and is there, are, do you have any issues at the moment with pass protection in general? Uh, I think it's just um, straining. Uh, that's our biggest thing is, um, I mean, even if I mean, we say here uh, uh, plays four to six seconds. So, um, I mean, say he holds the ball for longer than four to six seconds. I mean, I guess uh, tough deal. You got to deal with it. You got to strain through it and uh, stay on your blocks as best you can and just keep giving effort. With, uh, with Josh as a new starting center, I know a lot falls on his shoulders to get right. the protections communicated and where the pressure's coming from. Just right. how do you think he's done with that? And how does that process work when he's trying to let you all know where, where what's the stuff they're going from? Right. Um, I mean, he's done an amazing job. I can't believe... Uh, I guess how well he's done it um, for a first-year center to come in and take over an offense like he does. Uh, be, well, I guess uh, the communication between him and Justin is the biggest thing, and they, they're on the same page all the time. They make sure they get the right calls. I'll help him out there. We'll help him out. The guards will help him out. It's just, uh, I guess, even if we're wrong, all the, if if we're on the same page, it can't turn out if that you're all wrong. Let's well, I mean, I think right. I think in the <laughs> we had a we had a play in the Cincinnati game where we actually got the wrong play. Well, one of us saw the signal wrong, but we were all on the same page, and uh, it was a run play. We ran it the wrong way completely, and I think it was a it might have been a fourth and two or a third and three or something like that, and we ended up getting like seven yards on it. So it just goes to show, <laughs> as long as we're on the same page, it, you know, good things will happen. A little bit yeah. along the same lines of having to switch positions. Uh, Nicholas played at a switch from right to left. Right. How tough is that, and, and uh, how would you assess the way he played? Uh, that's, uh, I guess, one of the toughest things you can do, especially, I mean, guard's a little different, but um, especially a tackle, you know, it's it's more of a mind game, I guess. Uh, people think, oh, well, you can just flip your feet, and it's all good. But uh, it's totally different than that, because you're changing which hand you punch with in pass pro, you're changing, I guess, all your technique is just flip. And so really getting, especially when you have that muscle memory uh, locked in, it's just, it's a, it's a tough uh, decision, or it's a tough uh, move. But, um, How do you think you did? I think he did well. He did great. Um, I mean, of course, you have your nerves. It's his first start, first real, uh, I guess, meaningful reps is what we call them. Um, and uh, to see him go in there and play how he did, I was really excited for him. And then to see Fair come in for a short time and do right. what he did. How, how, how much was he hurting? Or what is that? How do you guys react to somebody playing in that kind of obvious pain? Right. Uh, I mean, he was banged up for sure. But um, I mean, it just, it, just it, uh, makes you have a lot of respect for somebody like that. Um, for someone to come in is as banged up or whatever as he was, and uh, to be able to play through that for us because we wouldn't, because we needed him to, um, it's just gives you a lot of respect for somebody. Well, Wisconsin is one of the best uh, teams in terms of sacks. <coughs> just what do you see with how they approach uh, getting after the passer? And it appears that one guy will take up the blocker to allow the other guy to make the play. Right. I know that's a common uh, theme for defense, but just what uh, what do you see with them? Uh, they're fast, they're strong, they're big, uh, they can move well. Uh, they have an assortment of blitzes they like to run. Um, seems like they like to try to confuse people sometimes, but um, as long as we're on the same page, I think we could, we'll be able to when someone goes, get it all sorted out. I'm sorry, when someone goes the wrong way, like you talked about, right. do you guys all just ad lib or does everyone now go the wrong way? Well, on that, well, that specific one. Yes, um, I'm, I'm wondering how that works. I guess. So, we had all thought we had gotten the right play, uh -huh. and uh, one person said the opposite of what the right play was. Okay. And uh, it was too close to the snap of the ball to change it. Uh huh. And so, I guess all four, we didn't like make a decision like we're running this play. It was like they said something, and then we're gone. So as soon as I heard someone or that person say it, it was like okay, well we might as well all be wrong. So, so you just all ran the wrong play. Yeah, but it, I guess it worked out for seven yards. Brandon, what does it do for Dewan Jones to have a moment like he had last week? Oh, it's on huge. On the 73-yard um, touchdown yeah. run. And, uh, and do you, you know, there was some conjecture on whether he might be redshirted or right. not, but now Coach Day is saying looks like he may be in right. the mix a little bit. But wh wh how does that help you guys? I mean, y'all you're, you're, are right. a team that started four different tackles already this right. year, you know? No, it's huge. Um, I mean, for – for him, it was a huge confidence booster, and that's exactly what any player needs. I mean, uh, confidence is, in my opinion, the O-line's biggest uh, biggest tool. I mean, if you're not confident, you are not going to play well no matter how good you are. So uh, for him to get that – and that was actually what he was missing. So 
to see him get that confidence and uh, get out there and you know have a yeah. little fun, just playing the game he loves again. It's, Could uh, you see him contributing down the road now? I mean, uh, in some in some respects. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, he just he comes in still uh, every day. You know, works as hard as he can, and uh, I think he can definitely contribute. Brent, every game you play, two more questions. Every game you play is, is somebody coming off as hard as they can. What makes this matchup, this team, why is it different? Uh, I think it's just the programs, uh, the culture of the programs. I mean, we're both built on toughness. It's, uh, I guess, uh, just a, it's a war. I mean, uh, everyone knows Wisconsin is a tough, ram it down your throat type of offense and uh, stop the run kind of defense. And we're, I guess, I would say the exact same. And uh, so when two teams get together like that, you just know it's going to be a battle. Speaking of culture, I mean, Last Wisconsin's question. had a lot of success. So have other teams in Big Ten, but they're one of those programs that just never quite seems to get up there and knock off Ohio State. Is that something, an identity you guys are aware of and something that as a, a team, you a program, you feel like you have to protect or extend? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think it's just the, it comes along with culture. Um, I think we've built a great culture around here, starting with Coach Meyer and uh, Coach Day carrying it on. Um, it's a mindset. It's just a, it's a different, I mean, and they have done that multiple times in their program, so they definitely know what they're doing and def definitely know how to do it. Um, and so I have a lot of respect for them, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a battle. Come on, really quickie. Do you, does a reminder of what happened with Illinois and Wisconsin last week, did, I don't know, know if you guys need a wake up call, this team or not, but I mean, does it reinforce what every Saturday means? Absolutely. From the standpoint of the intensity aspect? Absolutely, I mean, um, I mean, we're going for first and foremost the Big Ten championship. It's our biggest goal. Um, so, I mean, you have to take every Saturday one by one. You can't take you can't take a, a game off, a playoff, like because you know something like that could happen and your whole season's ruined. And we work way too hard for something like that to happen. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon.